Holy shit. Do you guys see this man? 99 overall. Michael Vick and his stats are insane. 98 speed with 100 throw power and 98 throw deep. Those are the three stacks that just pop out at me. He's not missing anything short either with 97 throw short. 92 throw middle seems to be his only weakness. I want to see his carrying though. They gave this man 77 carrying. Jesus. I was hoping he would at least have somewhat low carrying. That way he can, I don't know, be at least somewhat nerfed. Here's the comparison to McNabb and it's not even close. Next up in packs, we've got this Jason Taylor going for, man, half the coin that Michael Vick is, but this dude still looks pretty good. We're going to go ahead and compare him to J.J. Watt real quick, and, you know, the 100 finesse move is really cool, but J.J. Watt has 99 power move, uh, Jason Taylor has 11 better speed and 13 better excel, so if he gets off the block, this dude is going to destroy your quarterback, because he's going to get there quick. His play rec is also pretty good, uh, just don't expect him to break off a block shed like J.J. Watt will against a really good right tackle, but this Jason Taylor still looks pretty damn good. But uh, if we pull him, we're definitely going to sell. Because J.J. Watt has been playing well for us. And I, if I pull a player that's going for a mill, I'm probably just going to sell him. There's no question about it. So the question now is, can we actually pull one of these two players on camera? We got enough points left over to open up two straggler packs. It'd be pretty awesome to pull one or both out of uh, these two legends badge. I'm totally okay with pulling legend badges right now, actually, because I'm gonna make Anthony Munoz to replace um, Jason Peters on our offensive line, because our offensive line definitely, definitely needs upgraded. So, uh, we really got nothing out of that pack. I honestly want legend badges more than I want collectibles for other legends, especially because legend badges are also going for a shit ton of money right now. So, I don't even know if I should sell the legend badges and then buy them back later and then make Munoz or just make Munoz now as we get a Charles Woodson collectible right there. Not too bad, not too bad at all. We pulled the wrong Michael Vick. Yo. So now let's go ahead. Let's get into this bundle though. Are you guys excited? I'm excited, especially because the, the topper is amazing. It is a guaranteed legend player out of that topper. So if our topper is Mike Vick, for example, Legend bags right there. That would be fucking insane. I should want to at least pull something on camera here for you guys because man, I ha like I haven't pulled shit for you guys in all of my bundle openings yet. So to pull a limited edition card on camera on YouTube for you guys as we get a football outsider punter right there. Let's see, who knows if he even goes for anything. And then we also get a Sean Taylor collectible right there. I just oh man, I want. I want coin, man. 86k is what I'm sitting on right now, and that is not gonna do it for us as we get nothing out of that one as well. Not even an elite pool, just like last bundle, man. Not No red. No red. Ooh, don't do me like that. We get an elite pool. My heart skipped a beat. I thought it was Mike Vick or Jason Taylor as we get a legend badge right there. All right, still warming up. The packs are still warming up. All right, reveal all real quick. Charles Wixon collectible right there, and nothing else. We got two Charles Wixon collectibles. I would still really like to pull his year uh, collectible because I think it still goes for like a shit ton. Um, Lawrence Taylor year collectible right there. Let's go ahead and back out for a second. We opened up six already. We're flying through these packs right now, yo. We got four left though. We've only pulled one elite so far. Keep pulling legend badges though. I'm totally, totally okay with that, especially with how much they're going for. And uh, final three, final three packs. I'm hoping, I'm hoping something comes out of these. Legend packs are my favorite, favorite packs in the game. All right, let's go the, all the way back around for this last one. Nothing, a John Brown, all right. Well, I think we have like three different Charles Wilson collectibles now, so I guess that's pretty cool. And we might rip a couple of pro packs as well, just to see. Just to see. We're gonna fly through this one quickly. Nothing. Alright, last pack. We're backing out one more time. Gonna go ahead and go into it. Let's go, baby. We'll take this one really slow. A Kelvin Beecher. 
Come on, baby. Donovan McNabb collectible. That probably goes for like 2,000 points. Alright. I think I already pulled all the golds. I did. I did. Alright. Before we get into the legend badge topper, let's open up three. Three lucky pro packs. Maybe, maybe the pro packs will be great for us. Who knows? I want to try to pull something here for you guys. Can the pro packs be great? Terrence Newman, not even close to being great. What is with this game of giving me Bengals players? You guys remember how many Bengal players we pulled in our last, uh, our pro pack bundle a, a little bit ago? Insane, dude. Oh, the first, first card cheese. I hate that shit. I hate when it's the first card. All right, last pro pack. And then we'll go into the topper. I really, I wanted, I wanted to pull something for you guys. Not, not for myself, but for you guys. That way you can see something here. What do we get? All right, let's just reveal all right here as we get a Nate Allen. All right, nothing out of that. Can the topper be great? Can the topper be great? That is the question that is left. Here we go, guys. Hey, a Rob Woodson, dude. I will definitely, definitely, definitely take Rob Woodson. Let's go ahead and compare him to Super Bowl Ty Law. Holy shit, Ty Law's a monster. All right, this is way more comparable. <laughs> Hold on, take a minute. If you guys don't have a Super Bowl legend like Ty Law, you ain't living life. All right, <laughs> anyway, back to Rob Woodson here. Same speed as Charles Woodson, same Excel, better agility, one better man, six less zone, same press, same play rec, but also two better catching. That's interesting. If you guys are looking for a corner, and don't want to pay all that money for the legend Woodson or Ty Law, man. There's your uh, comparison right there to Woodson. You might want to go Rod over Charles if you want to save a bit of coin. But, uh, ugh. other than the top of that bundle was shit. I apologize, guys. I tried. I tried so hard for you guys. Um, I got my tax return back today. And I'm putting all of my tax return over into my house that I'm buying. But I saved just enough for me to buy this bundle. So this is my entire tax return. <laughs> And it went into a Rob Woodson. Oh, well, what can you do? If you guys are new, subscribe. Every single one of you. Go down to the description down below. And follow the Twitter, Twitch, Tumblr, as well as GamersElixir.com. And until next time, peace!